the dark waters covered me. Then his holy light came and, oh, the glory of his brightness. You will recall the miracle of Saint Orinus, how he raised the burned girl back to life. As a child, I too was burned and near to death. At his altar, the saint appeared, touched me, and I was healed. Time could not corrupt the saint's holy body. He touched me so that now I might touch you. Loki himself could not tell a better story. God Shh. is light. But what have you done in his light? All are turned to their own way and gone astray into darkness. The devil has hold of your thoughts, your hearts, your very bodies. No one is safe, whether you are pauper, king, or queen. Choose this day whom you will serve, for judgment is coming. And with it comes either deliverance or damnation. Let us pray. <clears throat> Gone. This little mother knows something about the queen. I need to find her. Have you seen my husband? You're troubled. It's my husband. He went for deliverance and hasn't come back. It's been days. Oh, it's all my fault. Tell me about deliverance. My husband was going to leave me, but he loves me. The devil got into him somehow. We sent him to Aquila for a deliverance ritual. Little mother said it would rid him of the devil. The rituals happen at Aquila. Yes. Little Master has a sanctum there. Oh, my poor husband. Do you think he's okay? I think you should prepare for the worst. And pray to your God for the best. <gasps> yes. I must pray. I must pray. I should go to Aquila where rituals are being done. I should see if anyone there knows where to find Little Mother. Little Mother just won't let us rest. We are working day and night, and barely getting any sleep. Tavern Keep, I'm new here. Can you tell me about Little Mother? Oh, deliverance rituals are all these drunkards talk about. Isn't that right, Bastion? You loudmouth shot. <laughs> Take a seat, Narsoner. Bastien's buying, and he'll tell you all about it. Right, Bastien? That's me, all right. Bastien's a loud mouth. Bastien's a drunk. And let's not forget, Bastien's a drink buyer, eh, barkeep? Sit down, Northerner. You have us at an advantage, Northerner. Where do you hail from? I just got in from Milan. Milan? You're not one of Siegfried's, are you? I'm just passing through, friend. Do not go through Aquila! That's where they take the poor fools for deliverance. They might take you too! <laughs> tell me about Little Mother and her deliverance rituals. I can tell you it's a lot of extra work for us. Since she got her special prisoner, it's worse. Shh! Bastia! We can't speak of God's business. A special prisoner. Someone close to the king, they say. A woman, no less. Mon dieu, Bastien! Ah, but we cannot speak of that, lest God hears us. Drink up, my friends! Bastien is buying! It would be wise to cover up. The less attention I draw, the easier it will be to find the Queen. <laughs> oh. 
Aquila is no place for your tribe. Leave. Hey there. Who taught you that song? I made it up myself. It's about the delivery hunts they do at the creep. I think they must have delivery at this deer, too. The creep? You mean the crypt? Yeah. I see people go there all the time, but I'm not allowed. Mother says the gods will beat me if I go too close. I will have a talk with those crypt gods. Oh, be careful. Don't talk to little mother. She'll give you a delivery ounce, and you'll end up like the deer. Survey the area, Sunan. little mother won't hurt her. It isn't right. Oh, you startled me. You are one of the new assistants? Good. That is good. Yes, I have been sent to help. You've picked a bad time. They have the queen in there. It doesn't seem right. I, I don't think I can do it. I will. Tell me what to do. Really? Okay. Little mother needs her knife dipped in sacrificial blood. It is on the table. Then... You must take it to her. All right. I'll prepare the knife and take it to little mother. You stay here. The knife is well made. But the edge is dull. It would not cut easily. 
I need to dip it in the blood. suspicion. Where do they instruct you to do such things? My instruction comes from God, as you will soon see. That is the Queen, and she's being held by Little Mother. Those are our elite guards. Best not to try to take them head on. If I open the cage in the other room, the guards might leave to investigate. Please, get me out of here! They will kill me! Guards have the key to the cage. Opening it would create a distraction. When my assistant returns with my knife, your deliverance, deliverance, will begin. You should know, your majesty. I am only God's instrument. Is your knife God's... Ah, here is my assistant with my knife. We can begin. I am little mother, touched by Saint Orinus, chosen by God. You are just another royal brood mare, mated to a king she doesn't love. In your bitterness, you turn him against God. You see, your majesty, you can hide nothing from a true servant of God. God himself knows I do not try. That is a lie. You speak for the devil now, do you know that? But we will cut him right out of you. Then we will get to the truth, you and God and I. Put your faith in that. Assistant, my knife. Put thy trust in me. 
I am sorry she had to die. She was not always like this, and too young for such bitterness. Your methods are uncompromising, but your coming was God's doing. You are a northerner, aren't you? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, and I am not here because of any god. I am here because your husband, the King, sent me. Charles sent you for me? There's no time. We have to find a way out before we are discovered. I know a way. Follow me. I did not thank you for rescuing me. It was a brave thing to do. It was not bravery. I'm only here because I have an agreement with Charles to return you to him. I've been used by God today, do not doubt it. But I have to go now. There is somewhere I must be. It was not your God who freed you, it was me. And I did it only to return you to your husband. That is where we are going. You think because you did something it was not God? God used a donkey once. He can use anyone, even you. Nevertheless, I'm taking you to Charles. It is not me Charles wants. I can trust you. I know it. I perceive God working something strange through you. I will show you what Charles seeks. You could be trying to deceive me. Yes, I suppose I could. But I am not. Do you really not see the strangeness in all this? That it must be God. I see only that your God makes it so you can never be wrong. <laughs> I like you, Eva. I can see why God chose you. And why we should be friends. We will go together. I mean to bargain with your husband, the king. But he is a complicated man. You are being diplomatic. Charles was not always as he is now. When he was a boy, he fell into fits of madness. His keepers believed him possessed and put him through the ritual. His conversion afterwards was sincere, so he gained a terrible fear of fire. When we met, he was honorable and pious. You sound proud of Charles. You loved him. Do I? Yes, in a way. But we have never been a normal husband and wife, in private. Does he not love you? It is not him. I could never be what he needed. But he is a man, and found solace elsewhere. Often. The nun, little mother, was going to kill you. Perhaps. Her deliverance rituals were brutal and cruel. Few survived. Euphrasia belonged to a secret group that believes Francia has fallen into apostasy. She thought me possessed. The Bishop Engelwyn was part of this group, I think. You know of Engelwyn? Yes. They call themselves Bella Torres Dei, God's warriors. And there are more of them. brought me all this way to see a child. Yes. Charles has a son. Little bear. Richard, you're safe. 
God protects me. Never doubt that, child. Bernard, this is Eivor, a friend. Go now and wash yourself. You've got more color on your shirt than on the canvas. He paints beautifully for a child, don't you think? He called you by your first name. Yes. It seems odd for a child, I know. But I am not his mother. Nothing else felt right. Bernard is not your son. How could he be? Yet I love him as if he was. As I said, Charles and I were never that way. But he is a man, and a king. Naturally, he found other places to satisfy his appetites. From that came Bernard. You're hiding the boy from his father. Charles wants Bernard to succeed him to the throne. And Bernard wants nothing else but to please his father. That is why I must keep Bernard from him. He will lead the child down a dark path. One not meant for a good king. My agreement with Charles was only to return with you. The child need not be involved. And I will not let him be. Bernard knows to find a church if he needs help and I am not there. I must leave again for a while. When I return, I want to hear your Latin verbs. I'm moving.